decided to make the conscious choice to make a change for myself. And, you know, I chopped my hair off and then I went through this period where I was working on my mental health and just trying to be better. And then I lost weight. I did a weight loss journey. And just so all those things just spark joy for me. I'm sure you've heard that before. No heavy cut away for you. So go on, go on, yeah. Go on, go on. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I hope you liked my introduction. It was just a little preview into the very first video that I ever, ever uploaded to YouTube. So. I figured I would just start with that because this 20,000 subscriber milestone means so much to me that there's like a whole, this like whole journey just encompasses everything right into like a line of bricks and it's just like right to the build. It's like everything has been already set in stone from the beginning and I feel like it's played out so well that I feel like I need to share and I need to tell everybody how it goes. I want to hit the bullet points for the first and then I'll go ahead and go into the story with you guys and share some updates with you. So number one is that this is going to be my 20,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm so flipping excited like I just want to scream and cuss and show you my true excitement but you guys would probably be like oh heck no unsubscribe. <laughs> so what I've decided to do is because, okay, I never got to around to my 10K giveaway and actually my 1K giveaway got all the way screwed up because actually nobody claimed the prize. So what I decided to do is give away three people, I give away three gifts to three different people to make up for my 1K, 10K, and now my 20K. And I'm just going to warp it all into one um, to make sure that I put it all out there so that, you know, my appreciation is out there to you guys because it's something I said I would do. Everything's just obviously happened a lot quicker than I assumed that it would. So bear with me here on my timing. So this giveaway is going to be done through PayPal because I want it to be open internationally to you guys because I have a lot of non-US viewers. So if you don't have PayPal currently, you can sign up and it is free. You'll just need to get with me if you are the winner through email or through Instagram so you can share with me your PayPal information so I can forward you the money like that. It'll be instant into your account. So I'm going to be giving away three $100 giveaways, cash giveaways to three different people. I will select the winners randomly and I'm so when you comment please list also your Instagram handle so that I know that I can reach out to you if you are the winner so that you aren't passed up because there is going to be a limited amount of days to claim your prize and to ship this out to you and I know some people like their privacy okay so to enter the giveaway please be sure that you're subscribed to mom likely please give this video a thumbs up and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss future uploads and comment down below 20 kg the winners will have um like two days to get back to me and if they don't then i'll need to reselect another winner hopefully i don't have to go through that process again hopefully you guys will love this i just decided cash would be better since last time nobody wanted to claim the other one but i figured with cash this could help you either in your home with your bills with your kids something nice for yourself anything that you want um and so that's why I wanted to do cash. Okay, news number two. So news number two is because you guys have been so awesome in watching my content and sharing my content and um, you know giving me your feedback, I have managed to make an income here on YouTube for the past couple of months. And so with that income, um, I'm not ready to speak on all of that yet just because I'm so new to it. I don't really want to speak on too many things that I don't really fully understand. I don't like to do that. Um, but so now I have received my first couple of checks and I have decided to put all that money and some back into my channel. Now I have decided to go ahead and upgrade my equipment. So I am going to be starting to use a camera and a new editing system. Um, I haven't decided on the editing system yet. So not right away because I'm going to need some time to practice because um, obviously, you know, I've been using my current setup for well over a year um, to get me here to learn how to use all of this stuff. So obviously I'm better now, so it's not going to take me that long. I can only hope. But 
over the next couple of months you might see some changes in my editing and stuff like that and that'll be why because I'm upgrading my quality and like all my goodies and programs for you guys to have a better viewer experience and just to take myself a little bit more seriously here because this is flipping huge so I want to create the best channel that I can and the one way that I know how to improve it right now is just to upgrade my equipment because I do work solely from my phone um, and so also next to that I did get a desk I'm so excited because I've always wanted one of these little desks we have a really small home as you guys can tell so you can imagine in my head where the heck am I gonna put a desk so I decided to mesh the playroom together into an office space so we're gonna share um, I'm gonna get rid of basically everything out of there and just only have a few things in there and then over time hopefully by summer um, they'll have some new bedroom furniture and I'm gonna put the rest of their toys in there and so we'll each just have a space in the playroom area to hang out especially because now using a editing system in camera I will no longer be able to edit on the go or anywhere I please I will be confined to my desk area so I just want them to have a space next to me so that you know I'm not just away from them this whole time while I'm editing and working on videos and responding to you guys and just doing YouTube things in general so we're gonna be sharing that space that's the other um, that's another update um, next I am ready to get back to my um, monthly like weight loss updates I don't know how many of you are interested in that but since stopping keto having the holidays and now getting into what April I have put on a few pounds since I did keto like into last year and I would start like to work and I would like to start working back out again and I actually signed up and I got some um, some new like detox teas to try so I'm gonna be doing that and I'm gonna mix that with a workout and hopefully meal prep which um, I would love to share with you guys because that's a huge part of my interest and in who I am just always wanting to like lose weight and meal prep and stuff like that you know I'm not like a super fit person but it's just a journey I would love to be on uh, James included he likes getting into that the kids just got new bikes so I would love to share that on the channel but if you guys are not super interested in that obviously I don't have to include it um, but throughout some videos I want to do like some meal preps with you guys and stuff like that so that's another update and I think that's pretty much it. If most of you ha don't know yet, I am working again. I started back working in March. I work part-time and then I do also my YouTube work from home. So a lot of people are confused as to why my house is always a mess. And they're like, well, you have so much time. I am no longer a stay-at-home mom anymore, um, for one. And then for two, you know, it's just our choice. <laughs> but so that's pretty much, I think, all the updates for that. Oh. Jordan should be going to kindergarten. We will know a definite yes in a couple of weeks. So that'll be awesome because that will also allow me a new uploading schedule. So hopefully by the time school starts, I'll be uploading more frequently. So bear with me. I'm just doing the best that I can without being like, you know, heavily restricted and stressed out because I am, you know, multi-managing multiple areas of my life right now. I would love to get in shape. You know, I need to spend time with my husband, I need to work, I need to do YouTube, film, edit, kids, read. There's lots of things going on. So I'm just doing the best I can to allow myself um, to still keep my sanity. So now I'm in a place after months now, finally feeling like I can manage it. But I am going to get to where I am doing more uploads for you guys. So I don't want to take up too much of your time here with this whole story. I just wanted to take a moment to really tell you guys my journey and share because you know I don't talk a lot in my cleaning videos really and so it's easy to not really understand me as a person or really know where I'm coming from if you don't follow along everything and if you don't follow my Instagram so my very ever first video here on YouTube was a singing song cover and I dedicated that video to my dad and I was such a heartbroken person then that like you could see the pain like all over my face it was it's embarrassing to look back at the video actually excuse me but if you read the description I dedicated that video to my dad because I just wanted to be a better person and get back to being like my strong-willed self and stop feeling like weak and depressed so um, I figured through YouTube I would kind of you know take the journey into doing something for myself that you know I thought I really loved and wanted to share um, 
But then, you know, that was 2017. It was like the second or third week of January 2017. And it just wasn't the route for me. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought. I didn't know what to do. I didn't enjoy making the song covers and everything um, the way that they needed to be done. So I gave up. And then um, I decided to go on this whole transitional journey. And, you know, this happens for me. This is one of my favorite things to do. And this has actually happened to me all through like my teens, you know, uh, adolescence, teens, into adulthood, becoming a mom, becoming a wife, like all throughout my life, I've always done these like transitional periods where I like make changes and I like to lose weight and change my style and just all different types of things to keep me motivated in life and fresh. And so one of the messages that I really want to share with you guys beyond, you know, tackling a huge mess because I feel like that's important because not everybody, but there are some select few of you out there who do struggle with this mess on a more um, emotional level than just, you know, being a little bit more carefree like I do. Um, and I just want to show you that you can take back control of your life and your home because it's a huge part of your mental well-being as you probably constantly read over and over again. But you really do feel a lot better when your space is cleaned up. Um, I know it's hard to think that that statement is coming from me because my home is always a mess, but I promise you I have like a method here um, that works and I do clean up often. But there's a lot of times people get in a rut and I just want to tell you that you can get out of that rut and just watch a few of my videos and just really start to just attack it and come back to it and come back to it and just eventually it'll be gone if you can't tackle it in one day. Okay, so... Number one, I want you to be able to manage um, these messes because believe me, back to the story. Now, after um, my dad had passed for that year, my life was a complete mess. I was a disaster. I didn't want to shower. I didn't want to do my hair. I didn't want to do my makeup. I barely wanted to cook. I wasn't cleaning the house barely at all. We were living out of laundry baskets. Um, you know, I stopped caring about what I put in my body as far as food choices. I just completely kind of gave up and I just knew that that's not the life that my dad would have wanted for me um, and that's not the person that I am or that I want to be those are all the things that I advocate against so I just decided to go on this transitional thing which led me to wanting to chop my hair off and so I filmed that process um, it was a year after my dad's death I believe I decided to cut my hair because I was scared so I did cut my hair about halfway off and then um, the following year, I believe, somewhere around there, is it somewhere around there? Yes, 2018. So in March 2018, I decided to do a big chop. So my hair was probably about right here after I cut it halfway and I decided to chop it like all the way up to here. It was a learning experience to say the least because as a curly headed woman especially, I feel like my hair was a blanket for me, um, especially like when it came to my weight. I felt like my hair helped me to be less self-conscious about my weight when I had my, you know, long curly hair. So when I chopped it off, it was just me. And every morning, it was just me in the mirror and me with my day. And if I didn't like something, like, I had to fix it. So the whole journey for me became, um, you know, becoming a new person. That's why they always say, like, a woman who's about to cut her hair is about to make some big life changes. Well, I did. And so... Um, for most of you, if you don't know, I used to be um, in college. I was on my way to being a nursing student. I wanted to be a registered nurse um, until I got pregnant with my second child and I had to drop out. So I never entered into the nursing program. And so, you know, being, being in a position where I spent so much time, a few years in school, working my way up to enter this nursing program to make a, you know, a financially stable situation for me and my family not being able to do that and then you know dealing with the death of my dad and just everything that I kind of had going on failing at wanting to you know sing and just everything that was just crazy I just said you know what it's time that I get my crap together and I want to work really hard on something get back to being myself and power through to be a new person because the path that I was on wasn't really helping me to accomplish anything and so I'm a creative that's like something I love to do and so I get joy out of spending really long long boring hours on something even if it's like a repeated process versus like you know something um, and I love fast paced and stuff like that but 
I feel like I just do okay with being a YouTuber and then, you know, juggling working outside of the home and a family versus doing nothing because I feel like my soul's kind of bombarded when I'm not able to do anything because I am a creative. I like to have ideas and put my focus into things. So when I decided to start back to YouTube, I said I'm going to go full force. And so this got kind of long in my explanation, but so my very first video was dedicated to my dad and my very first couple months back to YouTube, I got, I built up and built up from a video here and there a couple times a month, a few times a month, multiple times a month, and then almost every single day. And then so when this year started, I had lots of practice, lots of direction with where I wanted my channel to go and who I wanted to share with you as far as my life, because obviously I'm not going to share every last thing with you. However, I'm a extremely open person. Um, I very much so share my truth everywhere. This is beyond YouTube. I used to be a beach body coach. I used to love sharing my journey on my Facebook and my old Instagram account. I just love to inspire people and put myself in the environment where I have the positivity and just something that's like good for life and good for your mind and your soul because I don't like negative energy, negative situations, and I don't like to feel uncomfortable with you know environment so I like to create my own and so I really love inspiring people and so having a YouTube like doubled and tripled down on that for me okay and so January 1st my very first video I shared my vision board which was like this year's goals for me and so I did give myself a little small future section and on that future section I wrote that I would like to reach 20,000 subscribers on YouTube and the reason why it makes me emotional is because my very first video ever to YouTube was a video I dedicated to my dad. And, you know, now here we are. His birthday is tomorrow. And now, two days before his birthday, which actually fell on James's birthday, which was cool. It was his birthday and I reached this huge milestone. Is that I was able to reach this future goal that I had for myself before his birthday of this year. And... It just gives me a warm feeling. It might not seem like ducks in a row for a lot of people, but um, it just is incredible because I only started YouTube because I wanted to not be who I was being. I wanted to be better for him because I know that he wouldn't be happy leaving me in that situation. So I did, and then it's like I quit, and I started, and I quit, and I started, and then I worked so hard to get here, and... I know most of you are just, you know, some of you feel like it happened overnight, but like this was really a true process and a lot of it's easy for people to only see, um, you know, what they want to see or only notice and acknowledge you when they're ready. But um, I've been mentally preparing for this for quite some time up to this point, especially for the work that I've put in. I've had to really change my mindset and my grind and just plan and learn. I've spent so much time learning and... Um, you know, I don't have all the answers. I'm still learning. I'm still a student. But it just feels incredible to have reached this milestone because it just kind of feels like everything fell into place as it should. You know, it was like I lost him. My life fell apart. I tried to pick myself back up and it didn't work. And I tried again and it didn't work. And then I decided to make the conscious choice to make a change for myself. And, you know, I chopped my hair off. And then I went through this period where I was working on my mental health and just trying to be better and then I lost weight. I did a weight loss journey. And just so all those things just spark joy for me. I'm sure you've heard that before. <laughs> so those types of um, behavior and just things just generate a lot of um, warm energy in me. And it just helps me to be better. And in turn, put that same energy back out into the world, which I believe you need to put out. You need to um, put out what you would like to receive into the world. So that is why this milestone means so, so much to me. Um, next to that, I have managed to now be monetized and I do make an income on YouTube. And I'm so grateful for that because um, ultimately, yes, this was my outlet. But I really wanted to do this because I wanted to work my way up to where I could work really hard to make this something that... Um, you know, was beneficial to me where it could help my husband because he was struggling to keep us afloat 
um, until you know he came across this new position that he's in now. But we've been working really hard, as you would have heard in our story, if you got to know us in the um, another video, that financially it hasn't always been easy for us. Um, and we're working on recovering from that now. And so now that I'm able to contribute to him, it's, it's really huge to me. And the fact that I'm able to do it in a way also that means a lot to me because it's something I put my work into. And as another update, I just wanted to give you guys a little disclaimer that now I am receiving offers for like to try new products and, um, you know, get sponsorships and stuff like that. And so over time, you might start to see some new things being introduced, but I just want you to be aware that I'm not going to share with you anything that I'm not genuinely willing to use or anything that I don't see genuinely beneficial to you. Um, because number one, it's just a waste of my time to even um, put that in my video or put effort into learning about something and trying something if it's not going to um, be helpful, first of all. Um, and two, I don't want to just accept anything um, not all of them are paid, but I don't want to just accept anything if they pay me because um, obviously, like I said, my time is just going to be worth a little bit more than that. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that because I know some people tend to get offended when YouTubers do that, but it's just a part of, you know, being a YouTuber and being in the community. It's just something that comes along with having a channel. So just wanted to note that. You girls moving up. <laughs> moving on up. I need a new vacuum. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm going to get a vacuum soon, but I don't know when. Okay, so I just wanted to thank you guys all again for coming along on this journey with me. This is like a true journey here to follow, and I'm just so happy that you guys are taking part on this with me. And my number one goal that I wish that most of you would have, obviously everybody can't partake, but if you are somebody who is similar to me or who has the same interests or wants or goals as me, I'm really, really encouraging you to just take this journey with me as far as whatever. Um, to be better, to grow, to develop something new in yourself because that is something that I would love the most is that, um, like I said, I just want to inspire people. Um, and sometimes cleaning isn't always the best way to do that, but maybe the other parts of me can help you along the way. So thank you so much. Also, also, I wanted to just let you guys know, cause I get a lot of questions that always check down in my description box for, like I was saying, um, products from Amazon, um, other things as well as my music and other things. <laughs> always check the description box. I try to keep as much information there for you guys as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so, so much on 20,000. Woo woo. <laughs> I'm super excited. I'm actually going to celebrate this success. Hopefully get a meal. I don't know, hopefully maybe go out. I have no idea, but I'm just so, so excited. And I can't wait to sit down and get all these giveaways sent out. Yes, May 1st at 11 a.m. I will be selecting the winner. So don't forget to leave me your email or your Instagram handle, something that you don't mind being public, so I can reach out to you to let you know that you have won and so that you can claim your prize. There will be two days for you to claim it. So good luck. Bye. Oh, Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow for a cleaning video. We're going to be cleaning up this office space so you guys get to see what I do with it. Bye.